That's gonna be fine. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna do it. I'm not gonna be nervous. It's anymore. gonna be okay. Yeah. I, guess I, I might still be nervous. <laughs> Last time you saw us, we had just arrived in Austin, Texas. Fast forward one week, and we have just arrived at the Dallas airport. But a lot has happened since the last time you saw us. We thought we would fill you in. Our first four days were spent at TravelCon, which was so much fun. There were so many amazing speakers, and we gave our very first talk. <laughs> we just practiced for the last time, and we go in two hours. We're about to head over there. I think you'll be beautiful. Ow, my toe. <laughs> Ow. A little more coffee. Our 30 hours from Kyrgyzstan has really caught up with us. Typically, we're like, oh yeah, we never get jet lagged, but neither of us slept for very long last night. We need our brains working at peak level this morning. We got here a little early. We wanted to check out our room, see if our computer connected <laughs> smoothly. <laughs> We're visualizing success. No idea how many people are gonna be in here. Public speaking is like my least favorite thing in the world. But <laughs> things can be it. great. It's one of those things though, it's my least favorite thing in the world, but at the same time, it pushes me further outside of my comfort zone than anything else. And so like, I like to force myself to do it every once in a while because I feel like it's healthy to do that to yourself. What a man. And then I drag you into it. <laughs> Who's seen one of our videos before? Wow. So we've got this whole like introduction to ourselves at the beginning because we're not that narcissistic and thought that everybody would have watched our videos. YouTube is super oversaturated. With over 400 hours of video being uploaded to the platform every single minute. How can you stand out on such a huge platform? Some people refer to this as the algorithm. Wait, what happens when you hit country 100? Oh, we the big question <laughs> of the day. All right, so. we're going to wrap it up. It's time for everybody to get out of here. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Yay! <laughs> we did it. Nice to meet you. Turns out, I think our talk went pretty well. So maybe we found a new career in public speaking. So after the conference wrapped up, we teach you to do something weird. And we did Paris. After the conference wrapped up, we drove three hours north to Tyler, Texas, where my sister and her husband live, and we spent a few days with them and our new niece, Galilee. It was the best. Hello, sweet girl. Hi. You missed the whole car ride. I thought we were going to have bonding time. Freedom! Are you nice and rested? So we've just been a pit stop at this place called Bucky's, and apparently it's a Texas institution. It is huge, and it's kind of a combination between a gas station convenience store and a Walmart. Right? Trust. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's been so long since I've had my icy. I honestly can't even remember. Whoa, whoa. What's happening? Oh, immediate brain freeze. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Don't dump it out! Oh, my head hurts so bad right now. It's still coming out. Oh, I thought this was going to be like a great reminder of my childhood. I'm sorry that we didn't vlog more in the last few days. And it's not that we don't want to share our personal lives. It's really just we're not normally with other people. Like, we meet new people all the time, but we're not like with people that we love very often. So when we are, we're just trying to like soak up every minute of it and just be present. really present. <laughs> okay, we got 30 minutes into our flight boards and we're gonna go find a lounge. Well, we took the Skylink train over to Terminal D to go to our favorite lounge in America, the Centurion Lounge, to find that it is closed for two more days for renovation. <laughs> then we went to their temporary lounge, which is at full capacity. And so we're just going back to our gate now. 
We've heard about lounges being too full, but we've never personally experienced it. It's so and sad. it's quite the bummer. We realize this is very much like a first world <laughs> problem. It's gonna it's, be okay. It was an expectations thing though. You first you think you're going to like your favorite lounge, then you're going to a temporary lounge, and then you can't even get in. So we yeah. just like kept going downhill. Please hold on. This train is departing. Make sure you have all of your belongings. Watch your step as you exit. Exit here for the good news is we're not having to run to our gate. We're going to be right on time, early. First flight is to Denver. And we got new backpacks. If you follow us on Instagram, you already know that and have seen our review. We got five minutes, and I'm hoping to you know, make up another five minutes or so if we can. So. We'll do our best to get you there as quickly, uh, but more importantly, as safely as we can. Thanks for choosing the friendly skies. Sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. why we're going to Vancouver. So we thought we would take this time since we have a really short layover to explain how we ended up booking a flight to Canada because it is kind of random. So when we landed in Austin a week ago, we thought we were heading back to Asia, but we hadn't booked our flight yet. Then our friends Heath and Alyssa called. And they were like, we have a friend who needs a camper van moved from Vancouver to Calgary. Would you be interested? And we were like, interesting. Then they said, we'll be driving to Calgary too and we can caravan. It will be so much fun. We can visit Vancouver Island, we can spend some time in Banff. Have you heard of Banff? And we were like, yes, of course we've heard of Banff. And they were like, this is the best time of year to visit Western Canada. The leaves are changing, the bears are out, the tourists are leaving, and we might even see some snow. And then I looked at Nate and I was like, forget about Asia, let's go to Canada. Okay, that might not have been verbatim, but it's pretty much what happened. And here we are about to board our flight for Vancouver. Sit back, enjoy the flight, keep the updated green changes. Thank you. I think this is a Canadian thing. It is 10 p.m. We just landed and we're both super hungry, so before we make any bad decisions, we got some snacks. And it's the only restaurant in Arrivals. Can you, uh, can you tell me again? McLeod Code, right? Yes. Thank you. Oh yeah, how are we gonna end the vlog? We just got to our Airbnb. It's just right down the road from the airport because tomorrow we're going back there to pick up a camper van to drive into Vancouver. But now we're going to sleep. They told us this was way too many squats. <laughs> but we've practiced it and it's under the top limit. Three, two, one. And they were like, we have a friend who needs a camper van moved from Vancouver to Calgary. Would you be interested? Is that too you much? Just, no, you just, just looked at the camera in the beginning. Oh, okay, camera. okay, okay. okay. Uh, I said five takes. Okay, that was practice. All right, I'm going to go over the top. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, gosh. And they were like, this is the best time of the year. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was listening for that, and then I was like, Should first movie you've been in? Oh, big yawn. Ooh. Got my tortilla all in your face. Hey. <laughs> hey, camera shy. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Yeah. How are you sleepy? Okay. So I feel like it's in the middle of us. Yeah. It is recording. How's it look? I feel like right. it's going too far down. Okay. Does it look good? It's a little crooked. We just realized that we hadn't explained why we're going to Canada. Oh, that lake is pretty, going past the sunset, wow. 